This video finds me at day 50 on my epic bicycle ride from New York City to San Francisco. And as always, if you find this video useful, please hit the thumbs up in YouTube. It really helps the metrics. Oh, and stick around till the end. You'll see the uh, cute animal that scared the crap out of me overnight. Welcome to the ghost town of Cisco, Utah. There's nothing here but one amazing place. Buzzard's Belly Store. Uh, a woman named Jean started this uh, place in 2018. She bought an abandoned building that had been a garage and she turned it into the only store within 50 miles. There was nothing here because there's no water. Um, the place became famous because of a couple of reasons. It had oil and gas and they mined uranium here and vanadium here and um, and the... And the uh, the train tracks that are in front of me uh, were used to ship that out. Uh, the uranium for obviously making nuclear weapons and uh, the, the uh, vanadium for making steel. But uh, I'm going to camp in this ghost town tonight. It's me and a couple of other people. Jean said uh, camp on the property and then she drove an hour and a half home. And you'll see my humble abode here over my right shoulder. And there is nothing back there um, but Moab, Moab, Utah. And so this is Buzzard's Belly General Store, a gem in the middle of nowhere. And thank God it's here because I carried nine liters of water with me today and was able to refill when I got here. And uh, just a final surprise, so Tom Schmieder, if you're watching, little gratuitous trains. So while I was filming this, the California Zephyr passed. That's the daily train from Chicago to San Francisco Amtrak. So I survived last night, just a little scare at four o'clock in the morning when the alarm went off on the property. There's a little bell that dings if something um, comes onto the property. I assume it was this little guy, but before I show you this little guy, I'm headed off to Green River, Utah today for another 50 miles. Talk to you later. Here's the, uh, I think the surprise that got me in the middle of the night. Good morning. Hey, are you what I heard at four o'clock in the morning? pronghorn